Hello, everybody. Hello. Good evening. Welcome. Hello, hello, welcome, welcome, bienvenidos. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. We're gonna give the class a couple of minutes to get, hopefully they all come in. Welcome, welcome, welcome everybody. Hello, good evening. Hello, sir, hello. How are you doing? Oh, I'm, I'm good, I'm good. I'm getting ready for Thanksgiving. How about you guys? All right, it's nice. Is Thanksgiving tomorrow? Tomorrow, yeah. Tomorrow, eh? Ya tengo el chon. Ya tengo el chon por el listo. Oh, that's good. It's usually the last Thursday of November. That's correct, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Oh, yeah. That's nice. After that is a uh, Black Friday, right? After that is Black Friday, yeah. Black Friday. You know, Black Friday here in El Salvador, I don't like. Right. Because let me tell you a quick experience. In todo, mm -hmm. en todo lo que entran los compañeros, let me tell you a story. All right. My grandma, um, you know, she, she, she makes food and stuff like that. So she needs a really big fridge. Okay. And we went to look for refrigerators. And I don't know if you know this, but in Plaza Mundo, Soyapango, yeah. they have uh, Simon has the outlet. So right, for right. all the stuff that they don't sell in their other Simans, you know, that whatever leftovers, they send they them to, to yeah, they bring yeah. it, they bring it to, to, to Simon uh, okay. Plaza Mundo y ahí está el outlet. So you know what? After searching, we went everywhere. We went to, uh, you know, the regular Simans. We went to uh, El que tiene la W, ¿cómo se llama? Half Way something se llama, Safeway or algo así creo que se llama, que también es Omnisport. Okay. Uh, we went, we exactly. went to, we went to Omnisport. Uh, we, we pretty much went everywhere and we couldn't mm -hmm. find a fridge within, you know, the budget that we had for the, for, you know, the money that we had saved for all the right, fridge. Right. So then we said, you know what, let's go to, let's go to the, the outlet. Yeah, uh, yeah. And, and we found a fridge, man. We found a really nice fridge. Y lo único que tenía it was eh, un golpe. It was like a little dent. All right. You know? But that was outside, no? Right. It was outside and it was very small. <laughs> and so we asked the guy, we said, hey, how much is this one? You know, it was mm -hmm. very big and it was very tall. And the guy said, well, it, it's on special because, you know, it's the outlet. Right. Right. We have it for $475, which is, which is right what you know right around the money that we had mm -hmm. we had five hundred dollars so i mm -hmm. was thinking oh my god i'm gonna have twenty dollars to eat pollo campero uh, you know <laughs> this is gonna be fantastic okay so viene el salesman y me dice listen to what he said he said hey black friday is coming you know it's, it's gonna be here in two days mm -hmm. why don't you come back on black friday to buy it and then that way you can save a little bit more. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to do that, you know? And so we leave, we come back on Black Friday, and the fridge, the same fridge, was $575. And I had a, I had a heart attack, right? Oh, I, I was looking around oh, for man. the salesman, and, and, you know, I told the manager, I, I, I think we made a really big deal, man, mm -hmm. because le habían puesto un precio 
they, they said that the, that the fridge was $1,000 y que Black Friday, 50% off, and it was $500, mm -hmm. $575. And I was like, but that can't be because I came three days ago and it was $475. And so I got into a fight with the salesman. I got into a fight with the manager. At the end, mm -hmm. they kicked me out. Right? I didn't get really? the fridge. We didn't end up buying it. So what we did is we said, you know what? We're going to come back at a different day. Hopefully, mm -hmm. you know, nobody buys this fridge. We came back about maybe, I would say, five days after Black Friday. And guess what they had done? Did you find it? Or yeah, you... yeah. I found the same fridge for the same price, $475 again. Really? And I was like, oh, my God. Uh, these these about... guys. Yeah, worse. Worst experience ever. Hey, mm. everybody. Hey, everybody. Welcome. Welcome to class. Le estaba That's contando a Alex. Right? Yeah, le estaba contando a Alex. Ahí una, una experiencia de Vietnam. <laughs> de, de una experiencia <laughs> mía de Black Friday con Simán. So it was, it was pretty bad. Welcome. Welcome, mm -hmm. everybody. How is everybody doing? All in my fighting. Simán is hoax. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's doing the same thing, right? <laughs> All right. <Yeah>. So, <laughs> so I wanted to give you guys uh, a, a quick message. Uh, they sent us some information today. And they told us, let me show you guys my calendar. <clears throat> can, you, can everybody see my calendar? Yes? Yes. Yeah. All right. All right. A little bit small, but, but it's there, right? So literally what I want to show you guys is that what we were doing, what we have been doing in the platform, and let me go ahead and take you to the platform so that we can see it. Section one, two, and possibly even three could be or could have been completed this week. And that also includes the midterm. And then that would leave us with section four and five. And I wanted to show you this portion here that says the course ends in three weeks, December 19th. So yeah. what they yeah. were telling me is that it doesn't end on December 19th. The course is going to end on December 10th. December 10th. Oh, December 10th. So we have eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 days of class, but we have 14, 15 days all together for you guys to complete the platform work. In the show, right? So yeah, yeah. please remember, el último día para terminar el trabajo de la plataforma, diciembre 10, December 10th. Tomorrow is Thanksgiving, pero como no somos gringos, va, right. you'll have to come into work. <laughs> We're going to do a little bit of work. And yeah. I wanted to cover with you a little bit, now that we're talking about that, please remember, December 10th is the last day for you to complete. So how can you keep track on your progress? You can either look at the check marks, right? Mm. You can see where you have the check marks and wherever the check marks are missing, you might have to go back and redo it. Now, these lesson objectives don't take any points from you. So don't worry about that. But you do have to have check marks on the majority of the lessons for you to be able to consider this to be complete. And so you can either do that or you can go to the top of the page Look for the word that says progress, and then right there, you guys give it a click, and then you can see. Oh my goodness, I'm missing section one. So, <laughs> I'm yeah, it, that's weird because it's almost all complete. I wonder what I'm missing. Okay, I'll I'll check it out. I'll check it out. Uh, <laughs> so section one, section two, and then section three. And so my average right now is at 32%. I have not completed my midterm. I'm halfway on that one, I think. <laughs> I haven't done my final. And therefore, I only have 
10% completion. And yes. you can go section by section. I think I'm missing one that's really large. Okay. So then I have section one, section two is complete. Section three is yeah. barely getting started. And then section four and five, no la he visto todavía. All right, so this is one way to check out your progress. The other way is to check for the little green check mark. But as you guys yeah. can see, just because you have the check mark doesn't mean that it's complete. Oh, it's a knowledge check. So I'm missing a knowledge check on section one. All right, I'll complete that today. Okay, so my question to you guys is, do you have all your chequecitos? Do you have all your check marks in place? And have you completed every lesson and every knowledge check in section one? Yes, sir. Yeah, yes. yeah. Everybody yeah. got it? In fact, in fact I, I did the section one and section two. And the section three uh, just made the the three point three point four three point five. It's the last that I did. Okay, okay, all right. So just just keep track of it because look at me. I forgot. I forgot one, and because I didn't do one, I'm I'm pretty much failing section one, even though I completed everything else. So so you know don't don't forget. All right, <clears throat> I have a section two. We're moving to section two. And in section two, I, I, I was 100% complete. Do you guys have section two completed already? Yes. Yes, yes ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Uh, A ver, escuché que tenía una pregunta. Pregunta, duda. Any question? Sin pena, sin pena, sin pena, sin pena. Sí, la barba es de verdad. Miren. Adam, Adam, can I can I make a question? Yeah, yeah, question. So, and and then, you know, in the midterm exam, I have some problem with the with the first first section. Okay. First first part is the we use the modal verbs. But I complete the, we have to rewrite, rewrite yeah. the all the sentence, all the answer. We have to rewrite with the, using the model verb, right? I yeah. tried to put, but it, it, I couldn't find the, 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 correct the right answer. Yeah, okay. the correct answer. I'll, I'll tell you what, let's yeah. take some time and do some of those. I'll, well, I'll help you right now. You, you, you think so? You think? Yeah, 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 I you think do? so. I think I, I think I saw some of those already. So I, I hopefully we can see them and we can work them out. All right. Mm -hmm. So with section two, ¿cómo estamos? Eh, ¿Van terminando? ¿Les hace falta mucho? ¿Necesitan un poco de ayuda? Oh, for me, I finished already. You're I finished, finished section, section three. Two. Okay. Teacher, oh. I need help in the midterm exam. Okay. Okay. Let's look at the midterm. So let's jump into the midterm because that's you would be the second person on the group to have problems with the midterm. So, I, you know, it's maybe not even problems. Uh, lo que pasa es que sometimes eh, la plataforma goes a little crazy. So let, let's try to work that yeah, in. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah that would... All right. So let's... For... What, happened, what happened to me is uh, sometimes I did, I did the second section and when I go to the other, Looking at uh, just like a period, like I don't do nothing. Okay. And yeah. Back and go forward again, but in this moment, put me the 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 green the green check. Okay. Okay. So mm -hmm. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Let me try. Let's go over the. This one is really small. Uh, relative clauses. It, it's pretty small, and the only thing that. The only reason we're covering it is because there is a small, there's a video, there's a little portion that covers relative clauses. Estos, I, I think that we covered them already. And so what I want to talk about with this one real quick before we go into the midterm is a relative clause and what is it and what is it supposed to do? So what is a relative clause and what is it supposed to do? 
Uh, a relative clause is used to give extra information about the noun in the main clause without starting another sentence. So now we have a relative clause which starts with a relative pronoun. So what is a relative clause? Well, a relative clause can start with either who or that. Who or that. It can also start with which or that. It can be used for, it can be used with where, when, or whose. And so when you guys look at who or that, you guys gotta, you guys have to think about a subject or an object pronoun for people, mm -hmm. right? So if you're talking about people, and so the way you use it is, that's the woman who bought my house. Esa es la mujer que compró mi casa. That is the woman who bought my house. That's the woman who bought my house. Okay? Mm -hmm. No digan, no digan woman's. I, I have heard people say woman's. No, no, you don't say woman. No, 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 no. El plural de mujeres is women. Women. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You don't say woman's to make it plural. No, no, no. Eso es malo, malo. Eso, como dicen los gringos, yeah. eso, eso no bueno. No bueno, no, no bueno. No, 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 no. Eso es un pecado. Eso es un pecado. That's the women. Si son dos, ¿verdad? If it's two women. So two women or one woman, right? That's the woman who bought my house. Okay. Which or that? It is a subject or object pronoun for an animal or a thing. Yes, yes. Okay. The horse which Mary was riding is very friendly and beautiful. No puede decir that is the woman which bought my house. You can't, you can't say that, right? So it, it can only be used with things and it can be used with animals. Where refers to a place. We found the good wood where I used to go. We found the good wood where, wait, perdón. The wood. Just we the wood. found the wood where I used to go. Okay, sorry. When refers to a time expression. This is the one that I think we saw before. When refers to a time. I will never forget the day when I graduated. Nunca voy a olvidarme del día cuando me gradué. I will never forget the day when I graduated. Y luego se termina con who's. This is for procession for people, animals, and things. So this one you could use. The mother whose child is missing is very sad. La mamá del de niño que está perdido está bien oh, triste. Is this, está bien triste. The mother whose child is missing is very sad. And so that you guys can look at a little bit better, uh, the portion that says when. So here we see it again. You can say, for example, who, that, which, that, whose, when, and where. They caught the man who spied for China. They caught the man that spied for China. So you can use either or. En, en, este, en este ejemplo. Yeah. On the next one, I lost the map which she gave me. I lost the map that she gave me. Cualquiera de los dos. You can use both y te vas a escuchar fenomenal saying them like this. The next one is, she complained to the man whose dog bit her. She complained to the man whose dog bit her. Possession. Nah. El chucho le pertenecía al hombre. ¿A quién le metió el complaint? Al dueño del chucho que la mordió. So if you want to look at it that way, right? She complained to the man whose dog bit her. Y ahora vamos con el when. Christmas Day is a day when people are happy. Bueno, 
yo no sé, ¿verdad? Porque yo cuando cae ya, 20, ya 24, ya andamos más un ámbulo que a saber qué. I don't even know if I'm happy or sad or I don't know what's going on. ¿Quiénes de ustedes, ¿quiénes de ustedes pasan contentos el 24? Súper contentos el 24. Uh, super. Super All right. Christmas sí. Day. Sí. <laughs> gracias, gracias. Christmas Day is a day when people are happy. And now where? We visited the house where our father was born. So you could say yeah. it like that. Ahora. In a non-defining sentence, the word that cannot replace who or which. So if you have a non-defined sentence, no puedes ocupar that. Tienes que ocupar either who or which. So the examples are, Mata Hari, who was a famous female spy, was born in Holland. Ahí no puedes ocupar that. Tienes que ocupar who. Buckingham Palace, which is in London, is a favorite tourist site. Once again, no se puede ocupar that because it's a non-defining sentence. But con eso, we have other examples, which is for, you know, listen to the sentence without the word when. Y ustedes me dicen cómo se escucha. 1821 is the year Napoleon Bonaparte died then. ¿Estamos bien hasta ahí? Yeah. Algo, algo le hace falta, ¿verdad? Yeah, when. Something, something is missing. I don't know what it is. Oh, I know what it is. It could be when. A ver, let's try it out. 1821 is the year when Napoleon Bonaparte died. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo se escuchó esa? It sounds better, right? One little word. One little word and it's like, oh my God, that makes so much sense. So, well, when you guys are talking and you guys are using a relative clause and it has to do with time, you guys have to use when. When. Yeah. Okay. But, so but keep you, that in mind. But you you keep uh, the the end of the the word the word then if you use using before when. Well. You know, you just have to be because very careful. Right. Because, because it doesn't sound. So let's say, let's say, let's say you are using everyday, an everyday conversation, right? Okay. Let's okay. say, let's say New Year's, right? Um, January 1st. New Year's or, or January 1st is the day when people mm -hmm. usually wake up really hungover. Yeah. Okay. Porque estás hablando mm -hmm. del día y lo que quieres dar, lo que quieres vos dar a saber es que es un día cuando. Because of the day. So it is a moment in time what you want to bring up. Ahora, ¿qué tal si no estuviera esta palabra when? ¿Qué tal si solo dijéramos Christmas Day is a day people are happy? La vida es el día de la sí. gente feliz. ¿Verdad? Pero, pero algo le falta. Se oye, se oye algo oh, rarito. Ajá. Entonces, cuando vos ya decís Christmas is a day when people are happy, That changes. Ya estás hablando específicamente de este día y estás diciendo que en ese día la mayoría de personas andan contentas. So, so just keep that in mind. Yeah. Relative clauses son varias. Cada una de estas is considered a relative clause. So, a relative clause with who? A relative clause with which, a relative clause with when, and a relative clause with where. Y eso es lo que ustedes van a ver en la sección número 3 
3.3 y es Relative Clauses of Time, que lo que están preguntando es cómo usar la palabra when. So, ojo con esta, yeah. ojo con esta. All right. So now, let's go back into the platform. And let's go into the midterm. Midterm, midterm alpha. All right. So, let's go one by one. Mm -hmm. eh, was, no me acuerdo was, si ya había terminado esto. No, no, los he terminado por, no los he terminado porque no tengo los chequecitos. All right. Oh, my yeah. goodness. Look at this one. <laughs> Okay. Se call, se call the words. Ya. Yeah. Lea la oración y escoja de forma correcta la segunda parte del verbo oh, no. que te falta. So, read the sentence, choose the correct part of the two verb, the two part verb that's missing. Please clean blank oh. bedroom. It's really messy. All right. So let's 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 listen to these and let's see how it sounds or which one sounds better. Please clean off bedroom. It's really mm, a mess. Why not? Please clean up bedroom. It's it's really a mess. Please clean on bedroom. It's really a mess. ¿Cuál sería mejor? Clean. Clean up. Clean up. Clean up, clean up. ¿verdad? Clean up. Clean up the bedroom. Ahora tendría que tener una T-H-E, una DA. Please clean up the bedroom. Pero clean up sounds better. A ver, let's try it out like that. Could you please put blank the groceries in the kitchen? Could you please put over? Could you please put off? Could you please put away? Yeah. Away. Away? All right, let's yeah. just go with away. Can you, can you yeah. turn, can you down. turn All right. down the TV? Down. Can down. you turn out the TV? Can you turn on the TV? Down. Down. So what it's implying is, can you turn down the volume on the TV while I'm on the phone, okay? All right. And then we have part two. Read the sentence and choose between the infinitive or the gerund. Acuérdense, right. the infinitive is to. Ocupar la palabra yeah. to. Y el yeah. gerund era el ing. Microwave okay. ovens are used blank food very fast. Are used to cooking, for cooking, or to cook. <laughs> For cooking. For cooking? Yeah. Yeah, cooking. Everybody agree with that? Mm. Yes, I agree. Yes. Uh, yes. All right. All right. For cooking, food very fast. Well, you know what? Let's leave it like that. Let's see what happens. When you go to the beach, try. 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 Blank not the camcorder get. with. Not to get, to don't get, not getting. Not to get. Now then, let's read it. When you go to the beach, try not to get the camcorder with. That sounds pretty good. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can use my cell phone, blank a voicemail. You can use my cell phone leaving a voicemail. You can mm -hmm. use my cell phone for leave a voicemail. Mm -hmm. Or you can use my cell phone to leave a voicemail. Leave. Yeah, to leave. To leave. To leave. To leave. Okay. Yeah. Don't don't forget blank your ATM card with you. Don't forget for taking. Don't forget taking. Don't forget to take your ATM card with you. Take. To take. All right. Okay. Let's go. Closing my eyes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Oh, uh, yeah, we you, got, you it, got all it, all of them, yeah. <laughs> so clean up, put away, turn down. Turn down for what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Microwave for cooking, 
not to get, to leave, and to take. All right, we got it. Nice. Well done, guys. And All right, let's go to the next one. Go to the next one. Oh, the rewriting. Oh, my goodness. Look at this one. This one looks. Yeah. Let, let me, let me, let me fix my, let me fix my seat here. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so rewrite the sentences. Use the correct use the correct form of words given close the door please okay so you have to incorporate could you yeah. could you please close the door da. a ver a ver I'm gonna try it I'm gonna try it guys <laughs> oh that's not it alright let's switch it around could you close the door? Please. Please. A ver, pero creo que tengo que borrar todo lo demás, ¿verdad? Mm. Hold it, hold it. Here we go. All right, going again, guys, going again. Oh, all right, so let's see. Could you, what am I missing? Maybe I'm, Maybe the comma is wrong. <laughs> yeah. Maybe the, so. Ah, I le puse, le puse dos. A oh, ver. oh, so close, so close. I'm pretty come sure. On. Could you close the door? Unless it doesn't have this one. I mean, I'm, I was pretty sure. Could you please close the door? That's correct. What have you guys tried? Everything. Everything? <laughs> and nothing works? <laughs> nothing. And nothing works? You know nothing. what? I'm thinking that it might be that comma. I used to try see. capital. Capital. Mark. <laughs> With a question mark, yeah, yeah, true that. I tried to, but and it, it wasn't working. Nothing. <laughs> oh my god! Here, let me see. Let me. Somebody sent it to me. I, I was talking to somebody on WhatsApp. Hold on, let me see. Let me see what what was it. I think. Okay. And we tried question mark and all that good stuff. A ver, mira, fíjate que ya le había mandado esto. Let's see how we can do this one. Oh, this is. Oh, my goodness. A ver, let's try it. Can I remember seeing one of these? A ver. Oh, oh. <laughs> it was the, okay. Okay, Why? so I knew I okay. So, could you close the door, comma? Oh, y, una pregunta. Y la question mark. <laughs> oh, damn, I knew it was something like that. No estaba tan mal. <laughs> uh, you, yeah, it was just it was just a little <laughs> dot or a question. Damn it, these. Es que esta plataforma. <laughs> Es que esta plataforma sí que... All right, all right. Yeah, yeah. Angel, is that you? Yeah. All right. What's going yeah. on, Angel? This can maximize a little bit. I, I can. I... I can. I can, Angel. I can. Let me see. Okay. How does, how does that work? Is that, okay, a little, right. is that a little bit better? Yeah, yeah, I, I see better. Yeah, thanks. All right, so. Don't my no, no, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Could you, could you close the door, comma, please? Question mark. Question damn, mark. Damn it, man. All that right. <laughs> Let's try number two. Please take out the garbage. Now, some people say garbage. If they say garbage, it's okay. They, they can say it. Please take out the garbage garbage so here 
Would you take out the garbage? Would you please? please would you please? Would you please take out the garbage? Take out the garbage. Dot. A ver, or else we're gonna have to try the question mark. Is that La a question pregunta. mark? La pregunta. Es pregunta. Pero aquí o sea, estamos... es una pregunta. Would you please? El signo de interrogación. It, take out the garbage. You think it's a question mark again? But it doesn't make sense if it's a question mark. Right. Would you please? Well, it would, would you please? It's, it's como like a little, yeah, like a little command. Right. And now I lost my question mark. Let's see. I don't think it's a question mark. No. No. Would you, how about if we switch it around? Maybe the word please. Take yeah, out I the garbage, please. Yeah, let's try it like that. Would you, Would you take, take out, out the garbage? Y otra vez, please. Uh -huh. Say that. Hey, do we have the spelling correct? Garbage. Yeah. Let's see. Okay. Let me see. No quieren hacer dudar, ¿no? Sí, es que, hombre, would you take out, you know, I could almost swear that, what if, would you take, would you please take out the garbage, please? No, no, too many of that. Would you, would you please take out the garbage? Is that the way? Is that the way we did it before? I mean, I want to. I want to say that it sounds almost like it might be. <laughs> Maybe without the comma. Maybe without the comma. Oh man! Yeah, you crazy man! Oh, oh <laughs> so we, oh God, okay. All right, so would you please take out the garbage and then question mark? All right, well, you know what? At least, at least we're learning <laughs> little commas and stuff. God, these guys are crazy, man. Okay, number three, don't sit there. Ahora, no podemos ocupar sit, so we have to change it to sitting. Um, Would you mind? Would you mind not sitting there? Porque no podemos decir, don't not sit there. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. would you mind not sitting there? Is that a question mark that we have to use? Yeah. Oh, oh my God, teacher got it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, would you mind? No, I don't have the signal. Not sitting there. Can you please take? Oh my goodness. Is this can? Can you number four? A ver. A ver. Let's see. Please take the cat out. Can you please take the cat out? Can you please, can you take that cat out, please? But then it would have to be that and not the. Can you please take the cat out? Although, esa no se oye tan mal. Can you please take the take cat, cat out. out? And that's a question mark, right? Oh, teacher, yeah. dos por dos. Y escucho, yeah. eh, y escucho un celular ahí celebrando, así que. <laughs> so, happy so, number four, can you please take the cat out? Question mark. All right. Repeat that, please. Could you repeat that, please? Could you repeat that? Coma, ¿verdad? Yeah. Please. Yes. Question mark. No. Ah, pues. Creo que lleva la coma. No lleva coma. Solo de una sola vez. Un statement. 
Could you repeat that, please? You know what? That sounds pretty good. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. All right. Yeah, yeah. There it is. <laughs> oh, my God. It, it, took, it took two of these to, to kind of get in rhythm. All right. Get that. You guys got it? You guys got thank it? You, thank you so much. Yeah. I was trying everything. <laughs> no, no problem. No yeah, problem. Thank you. thank you. All right. All right. Let's go. Vamos con la, con la C, listening. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to hear this one. But so I'm going to play it for you guys, and you guys tell me if you guys can hear it. Could you guys hear it? No. Yes. No, not at all? No. A ver, a ver una vez más, una vez más. <laughs> no, teacher. Have you seen no. Nada? No, I can't hear nothing. All right, all right. So, so this is what you have to do on C. You have to listen to the conversation. Yeah, that one's fine. This one is okay? You guys, you guys are okay with this one? Yeah, we do. Yes. Okay. okay. So let's go back to the midterm and let's see if we can jump some of these. Okay, so uh, circle the word, rewriting, Listening, our el reading. Let's go into reading. And so it kind of goes hand, hand in hand with the exercises that we have been doing for reading. Oh my God, we mm -hmm. didn't do our reading today. Yeah. And we were supposed to do two. All right, but you know, this is, I think this is. This should be enough for you guys. All right. So you guys can take this as our reading exercise because it's pretty much the same. All right, let me see if I can make it a little bit larger for our friend. Did it, does it work? Are you guys able to see it? Yeah. Yes, yeah, teacher. All right. Let's read the first paragraph, and as soon as you guys are done, I'll change to Dear Slowly. A ver, Dear Sally. Delen ahí, delen. Okay, we live in a neighborhood where everyone knows each other, and we all get along pretty, pretty well. However, a new family recently moved in, and now we have some problems. Next one. Next one, yeah. Please. The family is two. The family is two teenagers play their music really loudly. When we politely ask, "You mind turning the music down?" They just looked. They just looked us at us. Next, the family destroyed a beautiful tree. I hated to see them cutting it down, cutting it down. I ran out and showed it. Could you please leave the tree alone? But they chopped, they chopped it down anyway. They also have dogs that bark loudly all day. We have said many times, please keep your dogs inside at night so we can get some sleep, but they won't do it. We don't know what, what to do anymore. How can we, we all get along? Oh, esto, esto me recuerda el pasaje. Yeah. Everybody, <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, good Lord, man. <laughs> I have some crazy neighbors. Ya comenzaron a reventar cohetes. They, they, ¿cómo yeah. es? They reventate. <laughs> no, no se dice reventate, no voy a decir eso. They, they pop firecrackers. They've been popping firecrackers since last week. So I, I know the feeling. So now we get a response, right? Dear yeah. slowly. All right. Dale, help me out. Help me out, Alex. Please. Okay, you have made polite requests with no results. Then next time you hear loud music or barking dogs, call your local police that it should solve those problems. Unfortunately, there's nothing you can do about the trees. The tree. 
try to stay polite and let the police let the police take care of uh, your neighbors. No puedo llamar a la policía. I can't do it. <laughs> I think we yeah. I, I think some of us suffer from that. All right. All right. So let's let's begin to answer as a as a team. Let's see. How did the teens respond to the neighbor's request? Request. Did they say, we're sorry, we'll try to be more quiet? Did they say, are you kidding? We like loud music. Or they, they didn't they say did, anything? They didn't say anything. They didn't say anything. They didn't say anything? All right, let's put that there. What happened as the tree was being chopped down? The family asked to leave it alone. The new family continued to cut it down. The wood was used to build a dark house. <laughs> continued to cut it down. Continue to cut it down? All right, let's see that, that. What is the problem with the dogs? They are kept inside all day. They are outside barking all the time. They aren't allowed to go outside. They're outside, outside barking, barking all the time. All the time, barking, oh my God. Okay, what was Sally's advice? Call the neighbors when the dogs bark. Stop being polite to the neighbors. Let the police solve the problem. Yeah, let the police solve the problem. All police right. solve the problem. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, well done, everybody. Well done. Okay, keep este. For those of you guys, just keep track. If you guys haven't done it yet, remember, keep track. So, number one, they didn't say anything. Number two, the new family continued to cut it down. Number three, they are outside barking all the time. And number four, what was Sally's advice? Let the police solve the problem, right? Solve the problem. All right, and then, so the last portion of the midterm is the matching. Match the phrases with the most appropriate information. Escoja las frases con información más apropiada. Apropia, apropiada. Okay. Appropriate. Okay, before a young man, before a young man and woman speak, they sometimes arrange another date. They usually talk on the phone. They might chat with each other on the internet. They often meet in a public place, such as a coffee shop. A ver, think it over. <laughs> Antes de que un macho alfa. No, before a young man and a woman speak. They might chat with each other on the internet. Well, yeah, right? It's Probably. the future. It's the future. They might chat with each other on the internet. Probably. Does everybody agree maybe, with that? Maybe they usually talk on the telephone. They usually talk on the telephone. So think, think of it as, as us. Think of it when you guys were dating, when you guys are, are, are dating, or if in the future you guys are going to date, right? Before you talk to a boy, or before you talk to a girl, what do we do? Do we sometimes arrange another date? Do we usually talk on the phone? Do we have a conversation in chat with each other on the internet? Or do we often meet in a public place such as a coffee shop? I think, I think number three too. Number three, so that's two for number three. All right, all right. Vaya, pongámosla, pues. They might try to go, mandame el WhatsApp, ¿cómo es? Mandame el WhatsApp. Es que, es que. Okay, It's a kind might... of logic. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, you, you don't just go out, right? And then yeah. back, back in the days, you used to have, like, meetings in a coffee shop, but, you know, it's, it, it could be that we're, we're moving forward. All right, so let's try it. Before Tehi, before Maybe. they meet for the first time, first time, they sometimes arrange another day. They usually talk on the phone. They might chat with each other on the internet. They often meet in a public place such as a coffee shop. Before, before they, they meet, meet the, so they haven't met yet. We're going to meet for the first time. And before that happens, what number do we four. Use? Number oh, four. Probably two. Okay, so, 
So we have we one talk. and one. They usually talk on the phone and get a little bit more information. Probably. Quien más? Who, who else agrees with number two? Mm, probably the number four. Number two. Okay, so we have another one for number two. Bah, bah, bah. But, but see, yeah, okay, we're going to meet, right? So <laughs> I, I want to... I don't know. First, first we're gonna chat. We're gonna, we're gonna, you know. But with chatting, yo creo que todavía le falta un poquito más. I want to hear your voice, or you guys might want to hear my voice, or, or I don't know, you know. So also, you... it's a first time, right? Right, it's the first time. So, yeah. Talk on the phone. All right, all right. Let's leave it like that. So now, when they have their first day, o sea, ya están, ya están en ese first day. They sometimes <laughs> arrange another day. They usually talk on the phone. They might chat with each other on the internet, or they often meet in a public place such as a coffee shop. Yeah, that one. They often meet in, in a public Number place. Si va. Cuando hay mucha gente, yeah. no, uno nunca sabe si está loco o está loca. Como es, Angel, como es, Angel, el dolor de nosotros que somos irresist como irresistibles. Mm -hmm. How do, you say how do you say irresistible? Is that how you say it? irresistible? No. Irresistible. <laughs> irresistible. Yeah, let, let's leave it like that. Let's leave it like that. All right. After they meet for the first time, after they meet, they already met. Like after they meet for the first time, they sometimes arrange the, another date. They usually yeah, the call first on the phone. One. The first one? First one. Yes. Everybody? Yeah. Oh, Everybody, Everybody yeah. agrees? All right. So let's agree. Oh, oh, my oh, oh, oh my god. Oh, oh, oh well done. Oh well my done. god. You're well good, done. guys. Well, well done, team. Well done. <laughs> All right. So, how does that sound? Before a young man and a woman speak, they might chat with each other on the internet. Okay, mm -hmm. that makes sense. Before yeah. they meet for the first time, they usually talk on the phone. When they have their first date, they often meet in public places such as coffee shops. After they meet for the first time, they sometimes arrange for another date. All right, there it mm -hmm. is, and, and I think that's it. Yeah. Let's see, let's go out. I think there was only one that was missing, which was the listening, and then we start off on section number four. So, for us, tomorrow, we are going to complete section three. All right. And hopefully we can work on stress this, and rhythm yeah. Rhythm. and adverbial clauses of time. These are the two that we are going to focus on, 3.10, 3.12 as a review. And for you guys, try to get as much done in the platform before you guys try to finish the midterm. And if yeah. you guys can complete section three and the midterm, well, even better. For those of you guys who are in section four, well done. And if anybody has gone to section five already, well, well, good for you. Uh, <laughs> and wait for us in the final exam. All mm -hmm. right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let me see. I wanted to show you, I think I had a, a, a little, no, I said no, I said no. Somebody asked me what was an ox. And so an ox is just a really big, I don't know what it is. It's a, like a cow, but it's used like in, it's, in it's other a long, places. There's a long horn. It's a long horn. Oh, really? So it's still no, a cow? It's, oh, oh. It's, it's, that's what was one kind of, of, ah, of, okay, uh, okay. of cow, you know. Okay. All right. I got it. I got it. An another specimen because so, of the horn, long horn. So you could say that it, it was like a cow, but it's like a different version of a cow or a bull? Yeah. Long, the long horn, yeah. But the ox is, is, the, is the male, of, ah, male okay. of, of a cow. Or, Okay, okay. All right, somebody asked me, and I was like, well, I don't know. Let's look at a picture. <laughs> I don't know what the hell an ox is. Okay, so, so real quick, right, before we go, before I let you guys go, just wanted to show you guys some of this um, because we brought it up, right? Relative clauses. Now, they are sentences that tell more about people, things, and they use non-defining, defining, and then they use relative pronouns. Um, that's what we're using in this particular case, relative clauses with a relative pronoun. And in this case, we were using when for time. So one of the mm -hmm. things that we talked about was, is it a defining or a non-defining sentence? So 
what is what, right? Non-defining, add extra information. It's general, all people or, or, or things. We separate them by using commas. Uh, we cannot use that. We only use who or which. So the example is Ragnar, who was a Viking, tried to conquer England, right? Ahí está la palabrita, ahí está who. No se puede ocupar el that. All right, so then, then we have the defining. They specify the person or the thing. So they're very specific. Special group, we don't use commas. It's one long sentence. We use who, which, or that. We can use that to replace who or which. For example, Ragnar was a Viking that tried to conquer England. Ah, that one was a little bit different, right? Yeah. And it sounded different too. Okay. All right. So now here, I think we're only going to do one. This one here is a defining relative clause. The relative pronouns are necessary to use. They cannot be omitted. The example, the new photographer is a person. He or she covers conflicts around the world. A news photographer is a person who covers conflicts around the world. So that, that's the example there. So now you have to read and choose the correct option. Can we use who, which, or that? Mm. A. A, a burglar is un mañoso, just in no. case. A burglar. Is that? A burglar that. is a person who that breaks into houses and steals things? Yes. Yeah, that's, that looks okay. All right, let's leave it like that. Why well, is not who? Why why not who? Why not? A ver, let's try it. How does it sound? That, that's my question. So you ask me a question and I ask it right back, <laughs> right? right. Why, why not who? I don't know. Why not who? Yeah, right. why not? A burglar is a person who breaks into houses and steals things. It's a person. Yeah. It's yeah. a person. Is it who? Who? You guys want to change yeah. it to who? Yes, I like who. All right, all right. Let's 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 you can Just use who, which, or that. It's basically to create the crime scene. Which? Which? Which are the people? A ver, oh, the CSI oh, oh, oh. are the people which investigate a crime scene. Acuérdense que which se ocupa para animals, animales, cosas. Things. Animal uh, things. That, I think we can use that. Let's try that. That sounds, a ver. The CSI yeah, says, are right, the not, people that invest in the Why not who? Why not who? Why not who? <laughs> I'm, I'm countering the question with a question. Because you who because say people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. CSI is are the people. It's the meaning, it's the, it's the reference of this. For so, some reason, we use that. So what you're saying, Angel, is that we cannot use who because no, people... That Two are, or are more than two, are, are plural. So the no, CSI said, are the people who investigate a crime scene? No. I think so this that. Oh, okay. All right. Elaine, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. All right. Let's try it out. Let's try it out. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's try it. Because, because it's plural. plural. Yeah. CSI are the people. Oh, I'm going to oh, well, close my eyes. Oh my god, you guys got it. Well done, everybody. Well done. You guys got it. Good, good, Angel. Good. Mm -hmm. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, please, please remind me to come back to this page tomorrow. 
okay, so okay. that we can continue. Um, I always forget, and I don't want to forget. And so please, please remind me so that we can finish these up. All right, everybody, thank you so much for today. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Yeah, and guys. have a okay, wonderful good night. night. Good night, everybody. Good night. 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 Good